He's a physical anomaly. He's 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 reach is like no other heavyweight. His jab is like no other heavyweight, and he's the hardest punching heavyweight on the planet. He is the scariest heavyweight on the planet. He is. What? I mean, by the way, it's no accident Povetkin was cheating for the fight. It's no accident that three fights of his have been canceled because the other guys had vada tests that were messed up. Why you think that people have vada tests that are messed up? Because they think they're going to beat Deontay Wilder? No, that's not why. Who invited Luis Ortiz to the fight? Why is he here? I don't know, but he's entitled to come to a fight. Right, I mean, right. if he wants to come to a fight, he's entitled to come now, to a fight. Now, if Wilder doesn't get Joshua, what is the next step? I mean, it doesn't I sound mean, like I don't know. It doesn't Eddie Hearn wants to make that fight. I don't know, but he's the heavyweight champion of the world. And, we'll, you know what, we'll continue to fight fights that that makes sense. And you know what? Exciting performances like tonight, going in there and, and looking like King Kong, that don't hurt you, man. That only helps you. You know, like I, I've been hearing the bullshit. Oh, Wilder's got to increase his profile. Well, you know what? For a substitute opponent, there were eleven thousand people, great crowd, and, and, great and, crowd. And, and a live crowd great at the Barkley Center supporting great Deontay crowd. Wilder, and he couldn't have looked any better than he did. You know, I mean, like, I, and I'm, by the way, I think I, I, I have nothing but respect for Anthony Joshua. I don't disrespect Anthony Joshua, but do I think my guy beats him? Yes, Deontay Wilder will unify the belts. Deontay Wilder will knock out Anthony Joshua. Not beat him, knock him out. Now other than Eddie Hearn trying to make Dylan White a mandatory, why else won't you just fight him? Just get him out the way. What? He's gonna, get who out of the way? Uh, wait, wait, wait. If he's going to just wait, knock wait. him out, just get him out of the wait, way. With all due respect, gonna... dude, no one in this country even knows who Dillian White is. Why, why is this, like, what is going on here? I don't... You don't go to. Uh, we're going to go to England. And why not? Go. Why not just get him out the first get round? Get what? Why? And then, For what reason? Because then why? Eddie Hearn make... won't have anything else to say. I don't give a fuck about what Eddie has to say. Okay. Right. I mean, I don't really. With all, with all due respect, we don't have to go to England to fight someone because Eddie Hearn says so. I mean, I know Eddie Hearn's got a lot of bread and he grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth, but it doesn't mean that we got to like march to his marching orders. No. He doesn't control boxing and he doesn't set mandatories. You know, let Dillian White do something to deserve a shot at the heavyweight title. And and, and what, what what what's his claim to fame? He lost to Anthony. What 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 what? He almost lost to Derek Chisora. He looked like 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 a, a friggin' Sominex pill, like a, like a sleeping pill against Robert Hellenius. What's his claim? I mean, no disrespect, but what is this whole bullshit outcry? You just saw tonight what what Deontay Wilder does to a regular heavyweight. Okay. Let's make let's let's make the two best guys in you the world. Mauricio, let's see who the man is. Mauricio told me that he's still looking over Ortiz. He may get the the green light. Uh, Suleiman, if he makes if you make that fight over here, the Barclays originally intended. Does this sell out? And is that a I mean, fight? you know, I, clear? I, clear? I, I, I I'm not I'm not speaking. I know that there were right. issues with his with blood pressure. I don't know. I mean, he's got to get. They, they got to review everything. Do you buy that? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't know. But by the way, if he has that much of a pressure with blood pre with blood pressure, like his people said, and he was in the hospital in intensive care because of it, maybe he needs to get checked out by a cardiologist too. I don't know. But like, I, but I'm not sitting there down. And the guy, like, I I thought that that was a dangerous fight and a real fight. But 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 we didn't we didn't write the bottle letter. We didn't get ourselves like we didn't get him suspended. Like we didn't test him and send ourselves a letter. The same way we didn't cause Povetkin to cheat three times in his career. We didn't do any of that stuff. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that Ortiz is, is like, I, don't, I can't say about Ortiz what I can look at and say about Povetkin because I don't know about the, what, you know, the whole story is with that medication. That's got to be, you know, figured out and determined. But, but, but right now, man, like, I'm, like tonight, just like enjoy the fact you have a great American heavyweight champion who's the hardest punching heavyweight on the planet. And, and right now, people should start appreciating Deontay Wilder. The reason Deontay, Deontay's been a victim of circumstance, man. He's been a victim of circumstance, a, a victim of injuries and failed a, a, opponents, failed drug tests. And tonight, you took it out. You know, tonight he, he didn't want. No one wanted to fight Stavern. We tried to arrange a step aside. Stavern talked a lot, a lot of game, man. He talked a lot of game. And all I saw tonight was a guy get destroyed by a much That's better how you answer. That's how you answer. Well, I mean, you know, Deontay did as well as Deontay possibly could have done tonight, and he did it being Deontay Wilder, going out there using an extraordinary jab. And by the way, AJ's a great fighter, but he don't jab like Deontay. 
No, I mean, he doesn't have that kind of jab. Working the past with Mark, Mark Greenland since you turned pro, well, how? What? Working the past with Mark Greenland since you turned Yeah, well, look, and I mean, look, AJ's a work in progress, too, as people may want a couple more fights. If they came to the table and there was a great economic deal, Deontay Wilder wouldn't keep him waiting. Is Demon Brazil next? What? Is Brazil next? I don't know. I mean, dude, man, we just had a win, big win. I don't know what's next. 11K here, right? I mean, I'd like to see the 10,900 and something. What? He's a mandatory. Who? Brazil? Oh, Not yeah. Amina. We just got a mandatory out of the way tonight. We got so we got a, We got plenty of, like, we, we don't have to fight a mandatory. Sorry. We don't have to fight a mandatory anytime soon. Do you, you think, think he's scared? performance makes it easier or harder <laughs> to make the Joshua fight? Ask Eddie Hearn. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Eddie Hearn. I don't know, but what about you? Dude, Eddie Hearn wasn't talking about Deontay before he looked. He wasn't talking about Deontay before he looked like that. All I've been hearing is Dillian White, Dillian White, Dillian White, Dillian White. I haven't heard him talk about Deontay. All I've heard him do is diminish Deontay. You know? And by the way, if, 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 if Deontay hit AJ Flush the way Klitschko hit AJ Flush, he would be asleep. And he certainly wouldn't have two minutes to do the chicken dance. He'd have about 14 seconds until a combination knocked him cold. Do you think he's scared of in the 2019 Joshua with a, with a performance like that? I don't think Josh. I think Josh was a great young athlete. I, I mean, I'm not going to disrespect Joshua. I don't think Josh was scared of anybody. But I don't think he beats Deontay Wilder. But but I mean, I think that he's got people around him that are smart. Eddie Hearn knows Anthony Joshua's like biggest nightmare is named Deontay Wilder. How close are you guys to having that fight? Have you, has, have you and Eddie Hearn ever There's no club. I mean, I, 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 there's no, no, I, I don't think anyone's close to having that fight right no, now. I mean, have you guys had conversations? I mean, I think that everyone knows there's an inevitability to that fight, but there's, there's like, I, I, I don't think right now, you know, I mean, look, there's, there's, there, there are guys he can fight in Great Britain, you know, the winner of Baloo and Hay. You know, I, I'd like to see Tyson Fury come out of, you know, uh, of, of his, uh, where, where he is right now, clean, together, healthy, and licensed again, because that guy's a terrific heavyweight, and, and, and you know, he, he beat, you know, he beat Klitschko from pillar to post, Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury can really fight, and, and if that guy's back in shape and healthy or whatever, and you have Joshua, you have Fury, you have Deontay, you have a division that has some incredible excitement at the top of the division. You know, I mean, I don't know what Eddie's going to do with AJ, you know, in the future, but I'll take them at their word. They said by the end of 2018, they think they'll be ready. So let's let's make it. Let's make you it. You didn't seem too keen on the Dillian White fight. Who the fuck is Dillian White? No offense. Who is he? But what are you talking about? Why? why are you asking about him? Would you recognize him if he walked down this motherfucking hallway? Would you even know who the let fuck me, he is? Let me finish. Wilder said if he got Joshua guaranteed. He would be willing to fight him. Is that something you would be even interested in, or you don't even think you have? Deontay's to the heavyweight champ in the world. He's the fucking boss. But since when does the boss travel abroad to fight somebody who's an ordinary dude for the right for the right to fight another champion? Yeah, Why? Because his promoter says so. The fuck out of here. He's gonna he's gonna pull a numbers game. Get the fuck out of here. Well, you know he's gonna pull a numbers game and say he's put seventy five thousand people in the promoter. You trying to take the crown back? No, man. It's just like I don't get this whole point. This whole like this idea like. Like, like, oh yeah, it's gonna make it bigger in Great Britain. No, it's not, man. You know, you know the people are great. People, UK boxing fans are the loudest. The probably in, in number, they're 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 as as great a number as any fans on earth. They they're the loudest. They're great fans. They support the sport like almost no place else in the world. They're smart fans. The 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 the, 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 the seventy thousand for Taco. So Wilder Joshua would be. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Like the, the, the fact here's a problem. It's business. Eddie's a promoter, and he's not a dumb guy. I've known him since he's a kid. One thing I would never say about Eddie is that he's an idiot. He's not. When you can do 70,000 with Takam, maybe you don't want to re immediately go into a ring with a guy that might knock your fucking head off. Now, can Facts. Brooklyn sustain, Facts. from a pragmatic standpoint, can Brooklyn sustain well, a Joshua truth, Wilder fight? Would you have to take it? I think a Joshua Wilder fight would probably... Could Brooklyn sustain it? Look, Brooklyn could sustain anything. You'd sell out this building, obviously. Brooklyn could sustain any anything. But you only have but, fire off but, right? but, you know, you, yeah. you got, you know, the, you, you, Vegas is a potential destination. There are stadiums that would be potential destinations. And UK is not out of the question. Deontay made it very clear in his post-fight interview in the ring. He was willing to go to Russia, so he wouldn't be willing to go to the UK. You know? And look, the last couple of weeks, you know, Joshua did what he had to do with that against the comp. 
Deontay couldn't have made a more emphatic statement than he did today. Absolutely. They both did what they were supposed to do. They Absolutely. both won. They both won. But there's nothing that they can do next bigger than them fighting each other. Absolutely. And, and, and ordering some bo like bozo-ish fight because some fucking promoter in the UK wants another payday for one of his ordinary guys. That's not a reason to make a fight. It just isn't. Like, you, you, you want to make the best fight for boxing fans. You want to make the best fight for the world of boxing. Make a fight that really creates the man. The, the baddest man on the planet. And you know what? Eddie can believe, and, he, and AJ can believe, and by the way, AJ's supposed to believe that he's the ba baddest man on the planet. I got a huge guy in the back right now with, with the commission. He's going to come out for a press conference in a few minutes, and he knows that he's the baddest man on the planet. The baddest man on the planet right now is named Deontay Wilder. Nice. That's the baddest man on the planet. And you know what AJ's supposed to think he is? Eddie Hearn's supposed to think AJ is? The UK fans can believe that, that, that AJ is. Maybe it's also time for the American fans to start giving props to their American heavyweight champion. Right? Because the reason that he hasn't had a defining fight isn't any reason of his. If he would have gone to, to Russia for Povetkin, I mean, God knows how jacked up Povetkin would have been. I think he would have knocked out Povetkin as jacked up as he might have been. You know? N none of these fights that haven't happened for Deontay over the last couple of years have been because we didn't want them or Deontay didn't want them. So, like, you know, this whole defining fight thing, hey, and, and just ask yourself another question. As great as Vladimir Klitschko was, would the version of Glad Vladimir Klitschko that lost to... And, I, and believe me, I think Vladimir Klitschko is one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. In the top ten, clearly a Hall of Famer, one of the great heavyweights ever. The version that lost to Anthony Joshua, the version that lost to Tyson Fury, would have lost also to Deontay Wilder. In his 40s, that version of, of, of Vladimir, I don't believe, would have beaten Deontay either. So, like, let's cut the bullshit. At some point in the next, you know... 12 months or so, let's make the fight everyone wants to see. What do you think what is of Luis King Kong Ortiz being in attendance for Wallace to run to? He's allowed to come to a fight. You know? He's allowed to come to a fight. I mean, that, that, that adverse test cost him a lot of money and an opportunity, you know, at, at a heavyweight championship. And, um, and I don't know all the details. I mean, like, I, I, you know, I know that Pavetkin's a fucking cheater, but, but with respect to, to, to Ortiz, I don't know about his heart condition and all that other stuff. I don't know everything that has to do with it. I, I, I will say that, like, you got to ask yourself some questions based upon his history, but at the same time, if the man, you know, I, I don't know why he didn't disclose it. I mean, at the very least, he should have disclosed it. But you know what? Maybe it was just a dumb mistake. Maybe it wasn't cheating. Lula, you think Joshua does the same thing to Tim Bermans to burn tonight? No. I don't think he's capable of doing the same thing to Bermain Severn tonight. He hasn't really done the same thing to just about anybody. I mean, Can he's... Can you argument that they're going to make? Uh, oh, come, all right. I mean, uh, you know what? Like, he doesn't punch like Deontay. There's only one heavyweight in the world right now that channels back, and he doesn't look anything like him, but he has that one-punch knockout power that Mike Tyson had. He has that ability... You know, Deontay Wilder could be Deontay Wilder could, could, could be down four or five rounds in a fight, and if he lands one punch, you are asleep. There's nobody else. There's no other heavyweight in the world that can that can do that. That is the great equalizer, man. That's like the great, and there's nothing more exciting than that in all the sports. It's it really it's one of the most exciting thing in sports. A guy that can take your head off with one punch. Joshua Anthony should happen. I mean, so Joshua Wilder should happen now. You know what? I'm not even saying that. If Eddie came, you know, just come honest, man. Eddie, like, I've known you since you're nine years old, bro. Come honest. If you think your guy needs a little bit more polishing, if he needs some more experience, if you want to fight a few more fights before you do it, then say that. But cut the shit with, like, you know, you got to fight Dillian White and you got to do this. No, we don't have to do anything you say, bro. You don't have to do anything you say. We don't. You I mean, you know. What's your message? What's your message to the UK to the UK fans? They're great fans, man. Look, they're great Do you fans. Think they should support any fight other than Wilder. I think that they should support their champion the way America should support their champion. I think all fans should know the best heavyweight fight you can make in the world is Anthony Joshua and Wilder. That is the best fight. The UK fans should want that. I think they will. The American fans should want that. I think they will. I'll tell you this. I hope that the American fans start embracing and supporting their American heavyweight champion the way the UK supports AJ.
Thank you.